This I made specifically for the RV trip that we have coming up because it's portable and compact. It'll slide right in a drawer and then when we're ready to use it, flip, flip, and we're ready to make coffee. Now, full disclosure, I've never used one of these before, uh, so I'm going to talk about it like I'm an expert on it, but uh, we've never made a cup. This is a bolsa. This is what you use to filter the coffee. This is one that's been used for a while. It's from our hosts here at our Airbnb. One tip that a local gave us is that you want to have multiples of these because you don't want to use it after it's been wet. So after you've used it, you want it to dry, and then you can use a new one for a new cup of coffee. True to hipster fashion, we are going to be using a vintage enamelware cup to make our coffee this morning. First we'll flip our thing around here. Then we put our bolsa in. We got this coffee from a local coffee roaster called Hacienda Real. From what I've read, you want to do one or two spoonfuls of coffee per cup. It is kind of a big cup. Let's do three. And we want to pour one ounce slowly over the top, top of the grounds, like that, and let that bloom. And then tip number two from a local is to discard that first one ounce of water that we poured over. What? You want to get rid of that. Why? I don't know. Yep. So now we just slowly pour over our water. pour, and then we wait, and then we pour, and then we wait, and then we cut. I like it. And no electricity. Well, I guess you got to heat the water. Very little cleanup, except you got to clean the filter. No planned obsolescence, as long as those little nails <laughs> and the little pins will hold up. I do need to remember to take a lot of these filters back home because you can't buy them in the United States. Uh, you can buy them online for like $11 a piece, whereas here they're like, I think, 40 cents. It's black coffee. But you don't like black coffee. I don't like black coffee. <laughs> 